Hi guys, DK here from Cororacad. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to install Cororacad tools for Rhino 7 for Mac OS. Uh, first thing we will need to do is install uh, a, a number of third-party uh, plugins for Grasshopper. Uh, these are required to uh, for Cororacad to to run. So uh, we need to open uh, Rhino. And then we need to open Grasshopper with the screen <coughs> with the screen icon. Now, once you have Grasshopper open, if you go to File, Special Folders, Components folder, this will actually open up a folder called Libraries. Let me uh, pull this across here. As you can see, there's there's currently nothing in this Libraries folder on this installation. So I'm just going to minimize Grasshopper and Rhino. Now, in the email you will receive, uh, along with your uh, trial license for Cororacad, you will get a link to Cororacad Dependencies uh, Mac as a zip file. Uh, if you unzip this folder, you'll find uh, a number of files uh, in that zip folder. It's simply a matter of selecting all of those um, files and dragging them into this libraries folder. Once that's done, we can uh, shut these two files, return to Rhino, and we need to quit Rhino to complete the installation of those uh, of those plugins. We can then restart Rhino. Opening a blank document. With Rhino now reopened, we can proceed to look at the Cororacad installation uh, file, which has this Mac RHI extension. We take this file, drag it down, and drop it on top of the Rhino icon in the start bar. With uh, uh, with that done, we will get this uh, dialog that says the that Cororacad has been successfully installed. We then need to quit Rhino again and restart. Again opening a blank document. Now Corora tools, uh, or to start Corora tools in Rhino 7 for Mac, uh, you'll need to click in this command bar and type Corora, and you'll have the option between Corora Kite or Corora Wing. Simply select the version you want to run. Now, on first startup, you will be asked for your username and user I, uh, and uh, user key. So. I'm simply going to put a test user in here. And a dummy key. Cororacad will continue to load in the background. At this point, you will also be asked to approve the download and installation of several other uh, plugins for for Rhino, um, and these ones are entirely managed by Rhino's package manager. So it's simply a matter of approving the download and install. and then closing these two windows. 
And now we can wait for CoraCAD to finish its installation. Once the CororaCAD uh, controls come up, our inst installation is complete. And you'll see the wing is on the screen. Right. If you have any questions or would like to get in contact, please email uh, CororaCAD at gmail.com or uh, leave a question in the, uh, the comments down below. Thank you very much.